I'm Justin Mott and welcome to my home here in Hanoi, Vietnam. And if you're new here, my channel is dedicated to all things photography from the perspective of a full-time working professional photographer. And I became a better street photographer through assignment photography, if that makes sense. I started off my learning in photography on the streets of San Francisco, and then I started my career here on the streets of Hanoi. Two fantastic places to learn street photography. I mean, they're just like visually stacked in your favor. So on those streets is where I found myself as a photographer, and today I'm gonna attempt to help you find yourself as a street photographer. Today's episode is going to be short and sweet, but before we get into it, quickly don't forget to check out my online store at justinmott.com. I've got a variety of one-on-one -on -one classes. Right now, I've got a mega sale on my monthly mentorship program. It's $500 off. This is like my most intimate learning package. This is for anyone out there that wants help with their photography, and I do so through helping you find and execute a personal project. It's for amateurs, it's for pros, it's for people interested in all genres. I've also got presets on there, and I've also got prints available with free shipping in the US and Canada. All right, because this episode is short and sweet, I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna help you find you today. That's the, that's the goal, that's deep. And help you find yourself as a street photographer, help you find your style as a street photographer with just a couple pointers. So the first thing, and probably the most important thing, I'm gonna give that away right away, is to follow what interests you, not what interests others or what you've seen others rewarded for on different websites and Instagram accounts. Follow your interests. Yes, it's important to understand the historical greats in street photography. Yes, it's important to stay up to date on whoever's hot right now in street photography. Sure, but that kind of stuff that they're shooting interests them. It doesn't necessarily interest you. So Elliot Erwitt had a thing for dogs. I love dogs, but maybe you don't like dogs. Why don't you like dogs? What's the matter with you? Fine, but maybe you don't like to photograph dogs. So don't. Maybe you're not into juxtaposition of the old and the new. Maybe you're not into modern cities. Maybe you're not into moments that much. Maybe you care more about light. Maybe you don't like grimy subways, grimy subjects. Maybe you like things nice and clean. Maybe you like textured walls. Maybe you don't like textured walls. I don't know, but you're not doing this for them. Hopefully you're not doing this for any sorts of awards. Hopefully you're not doing street photography to make any money off of it because there's not much out there. You should be doing it for you, yourself. So if you're doing it for yourself, find out what interests you. Stop paying attention to what interests others or what people are interested in others shooting. Learn from others, just stop following others or stop replicating others. The next thing is light. Yes, understand light. Understand what times are best to go out and capture light. Understand where that light that you're looking for is. But more than that, understand why you're capturing that type of light. What are you saying with your exposures? What is the mood of your picture saying with how you exposed your images? Be asking yourself these questions. Why am I overexposing? Why am I underexposing? Why am I shooting into the light? Why am I shooting the subject perfectly in the light? Why am I shooting a portrait of someone half in the light? Slow down. Stop just looking and replicating like I said before and ask yourself why. Why am I capturing light this way? Am I doing it because I saw someone else do it? Or are you doing it because you genuinely like it and you're trying to make a statement or you're trying to set a mood with your image by the way you expose your shot? And be bold with it. Experiment with your exposures. What does it look like if you've drastically underexposed? What does it look like if you've drastically overexposed? Oh, no, it has to be perfectly exposed. That histogram has to be perfect. It doesn't. Experiment, be bold, try different things, fail, see what works for you, and again, ask yourself, why? And then how do you find your style? How do you put this all together? Well, after you've sort of figured out what subjects you like, what kind of images you like, then once you've got that, and you've experimented with how you like to capture light, how you like to expose your images, then start to apply this to some sort of project with your street photography. It doesn't have to be this bold statement about the world, about humanity. It can be. If that's your thing, follow it. Maybe you just like to go shoot recreationally on the weekend, but still find a project. Find a project that ties all this stuff together. So if you like photographing people through windows and you like reflections, Play around with that, experiment, give that project purpose and build on that project. Try to build a body of work. That structure 
of that project will help you improve and it will help you find your style. So if you go into the same neighborhood all the time, you're shooting the same thing and you have purpose with your work, you'll start to build this project up. You'll start to figure out who you are as a photographer, not just in what you like to shoot, but how you like to shoot it. Again, just give yourself some structure by announcing to yourself, you don't have to announce it to the world, that this is your project, this is what you're gonna work on. It'll give you the discipline, it'll give you structure, and most of all, it'll help you find your style and who you are as a photographer. In the beginning of your photography, look at other photographers work yes understand their work understand how they see the world but at some point leave that behind and start to understand how you see the world and then focus on that and then work on that and then you'll have your style as a photographer that's all for today guys thank you guys for tuning in if you have any questions ask me in the comments section i'm quite active on there if you like like me you can consider joining our channel i've got a bunch of bonus content early release content all sorts of fun perks on there. Even early access to my workshop for members only helps the channel, helps me create more content like this. It's $4.99 a month. Hit the join button. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to have a wonderful day.